Hey booktube, welcome back. I'm Lynx and the ink I'm talking about today is reading in the bath, or as I like to call them, book baths. There are a few things that I enjoy more than reading a good book in an epic bath. So I thought that I would just use today's video as an excuse to share some of my favorite book baths I've done or that I plan to do. Also before I get started, I want to share a tip. I mentioned this in my Q&A video, but it bears repeating that one of the best ways to take a book bath that is safe for you and your books, which unfortunately only applies if you have a Kindle or e-reader, is to put your e-reader or Kindle in a Ziploc. It makes it instantly waterproof. There's no fear of getting pages wet or getting the e-reader wet. I have a Kindle Voyage and it fits perfectly in a quart size Ziploc, so I just keep them on hand in the bathroom at all times and I'm good to go. When I plan a book bath, I have a tendency to go a bit over the top and I will have this whole thematic event and sometimes it's basically everything is somehow connected to the book, sometimes there's one thing, and sometimes it's just an enjoyable bath. So when my baths are on the low end of the epic scale, I normally just use whatever sort of bath product I have on hand. I generally keep around a thing of Bath & Body Bubble Bath. I personally enjoy the Japanese cherry blossom scent. It's the spray that I use every day, so I will oftentimes use that. And so generally that doesn't have a direct connection to the book I'm reading. It's just something I like and makes for an enjoyable bath. When the book baths get bumped up to the moderately epic scale, there's usually like one item that connects it to the book and just sort of makes it officially thematic. One example of a book bath on this level of epicness is reading Sherlock Holmes while drinking a Sherlock fandom tea from Adagio. I'll put a link to the Adagio page for the Sherlock teas below if you want to try it. I highly recommend the John Watson blend, that is my personal favorite. Another such bath that I took recently was reading The Tropic of Serpents by Marie Brennan while taking a bath with the Dragon's Egg Bath Bomb from Lush. This is the second book in a series of memoir style books from the perspective of this awesome woman living in a fantastical Victorian-esque world that is going on expeditions to study dragons. So dragons, dragon egg, it makes sense. My last example I was being a little bit silly with, but I mean, they're book baths, so they're not too serious to start with. And for that one, I was reading one of the books in Jean Wolfe's Book of the New Sun series, and I used the Sunnyside Bubble Bar from Lush, which is one of the brightest, most sparkly, glittery bubble bars that I think they make. And this is one of the darker book series I've been reading recently, so somehow pairing those together made me chuckle and... Book of the New Sun, Sunny Side, it, yeah, you can see the connection. Now, while those book baths are nice, nothing beats a highly epic book bath. And I have two of these that I'm going to share. One of them I took last week, and one of them I'm planning to take soon, hopefully later this month, but maybe next month, just depending on how fast I actually make it through my TBR list this month. The first of these I took on Tuesday, which was the release day for Morning Star by Pierce Brown. This was the final book in the Red Rising trilogy, which I've been talking about a lot in my videos. I was so excited for this book to come out and it was so worth the wait. Ugh, such a good book, I am. Yeah, if you have not read the series, I highly recommend it. So good. So for Morning Star, I used the Big Bang Bubble Bar by Lush, which I'll show a picture. It has stars and the colors are similar to the colors of the book Morning Star. So that one definitely made sense. For those of you who aren't familiar with Red Rising, it's a sci-fi trilogy. It's set in humanity's future, like a thousand years, I think, from now. We're colonizing the solar system, but this ridiculous social hierarchy has been established where there are 14 different classes and each class is denoted by a color. So there's reds, blues, greens, pinks, silver, gold, but 14 of them. So on the bottom of the hierarchy are the reds, who for the most part are doing this intense, terrifying mining work. And on the high end of the hierarchy are the golds, who are basically these like demigods that control and rule over all of the other colors and society, blah, blah, blah. So as the series name implies, Red Rising is about the lower colors, and specifically the reds, um, realizing how oppressed they're being by the higher colors, and specifically the golds, and starting a movement and rising up against their oppressors, and just so epic. 
and also the world and society itself takes heavy influence from Roman history and mythology, which is a really cool touch as well. But so now that you have that background, the extra items that I had for my morning star book bath were to have some red Roman raspberry sorbet by Talenti, and to also drink some golden yerba mate. So I had the Roman aspect and the colors and the stars and the blue water. It was awesome. The second epic book bath, which I'm planning to do soon, is for O Jerusalem by Laurie R. King. This is the fifth book in the Mary Russell series, and as the name implies, Mary Russell and Sherlock go to Jerusalem. For this one, I'm planning to use the Karma Bubble Bar, also by Lush. The description on the website said something like it'll transport you to a Middle Eastern spice market or some such, so that seemed very appropriate. Also in this book, they eat a lot of pistachios and dates and drink a lot of Turkish coffee. I don't actually know a whole lot about Turkish coffee, but I am going to investigate and see if I can find some or figure out how one makes that so I can have that as part of my bath. And I also have some pistachio gelato to enjoy while I take this book bath. So this one is also shaping up to be quite epic. So yeah, those are some of my favorite book baths that I have done or plan to do. I also listen to music while I have these book baths. I often have playlists that I put together for certain series or subgenres, and so I'll play those while I'm reading a book in that series or subgenre. But yeah, let me know if you guys do anything like this, or if you have any plans for book baths, or if I have inspired you perhaps to do any book baths. I would love to know that. That's exciting. Then please also like this video if you enjoyed it, and subscribe if you'd like to see more. I hope everybody is having a good start to the week, and I will talk to you guys later. Bye!